Hey guys, it's Addison, and uh, this video is going to be about the news section on the Digital Garrison app. Okay. So, uh, first of all, the news is in the flyout, and it's only in the flyout uh, as far as I know. Um, and the news is going to show, um, like when the user clicks on news, it's going to show the news for the Garrison that they have selected as my installation. Okay, so like, you know, if they're getting notifications for Fort Campbell, they've selected my installation as Fort Campbell, they're going to see Fort Campbell news when they go to this. Now, um, the app is only pulling news from core. Okay, it's not pulling from divots, uh, local, uh, local newspapers, Concrete 5 news, none of that. Okay, it's only pulling from core. Um, and it's pulling from core based on your core ID number. Um, now, um, if you have different core ID numbers, like for example, let me find one. I think it's um, Fort Riley. Yeah, so Fort Riley um, is showing Fort Riley news and the 1st Infantry Division because they've got, you know, two different feeds. Um, so uh, you can do that. You can show multiple. But if you needed to change um, the news that you're showing or add something, that would be um, an item that you would have to email, um, you know, Sarah Luna, and she would have to email AFES. But before you do that, you have to figure out what your core ID number is, okay? Um, now, as far as I know, you're not going to, like, I don't think there's a way for you to log into CORE to figure out what your ID number is. Um, and if there is, I mean, I don't know what it is. Um, so your best bet is to email, like, the CORE web developers and ask them what your ID number is. Um, and so let me show you what that means. So um, what you can do is, if you wanted to view your news feed, um, you can use this link. Um, so api.army.mil slash api slash version one news question mark and then section ID equals 251. So 251 is for Aberdeen. Um, if I wanted to view Adelphi, I would type in 272 and you can change that limit. You can change it to one or five or whatever you want, but that's the link. Um, and I hardly doubt that you'll ever need to use that link, but I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, so very, this might look very similar to the way that the MWR uh, events look like in the browser, but remember that I'm using Firefox. So the Firefox is allowing me to view the JSON in like a nice pretty way. If I use Chrome or something like that, it's just gonna be like a whole lot of text. Okay. Now, uh, let's talk about your ID. Okay, no, so there's that ID number. Um, now, if you have trouble getting a hold of core, um, there's another way for you to try to figure out what your core ID number is. So, um, in the IEW sites, you know how you can click and drag a little core news block? Um, so, click and drag that, and then click on, like, the name. So, if I'm at Fort Jackson, I would click on Fort Jackson. And it's going to display news. Well, I have a feeling that if it's the wrong news, it's probably the wrong news on both that core news block and on the app, because that means your ID number is a little off. Um, but if you can find, like let's say I'm Fort Riley and I wanted to show the 1st Infantry Division, if, you, if I click and drag that core news block, and I can find 1st Infantry Division in that little scroll down list of whatever I want to select, that means that Shelby developed that. And so that means Shelby will know what your ID number is, okay? Because he's he developed all that, he's pulling all of it. So if you can't get a hold of, of CORE to get your ID number, um, email Shelby and say, hey, you know, I, I know my CORE news is in the block, can you tell me what my number is? Because that means, you know, he's got a list somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's what you need. It can't be just Fort Jackson or Aberdeen or whatever. It's gotta be a number. Because uh, remember, computers are not smart. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk about how they're displayed. Um, um, and I've got a list of um, all the IDs that we have so far. Um, 
here we go. Okay. So, um, the news will display a total of five, um, or a total of 10 news stories per garrison. Okay, so 10 total. Um, there will be five in the recent tab, which is this right here. This is the recent tab. And then there will be five more in the more news tab. Um, now they're all sorted by their published date from, you know, like latest to oldest. Um, and the recent tab will display the first five stories that have been um, published in the last seven days. And if there's more, like let's say you published 10 in the last seven days, it'll overflow to the more news section. Now, um, let me see. Uh, so in the list view, this is the list view when someone just clicks on it, uh, you'll see the title, the last updated date, the author, and then the image, and uh, it's image number one. Um, now, uh, and that's the same for the more news. And then when you click on it, this is the details view. So uh, first of all, it's gonna show the entire um, title. What is it called? The Yeah, the title, okay. Last updated, the author, and then image number one. Now, um, in this example, we have an image and then we have the caption and the caption exceeds a certain character limit and I can't quite remember what it is, but that's what this read more is for. That's for the user to expand that um, caption so they can read the rest of the caption. Now, any other uh, photos that you have associated with this article are gonna display as little um, like thumbnails at the bottom. Uh, and then the user can click on that and same goes, keeps on going. And then you're gonna have the article body text. Now, um, I will tell you that the article body text is rich text. So that means um, it's not simple. That means you can put links in there and all kinds of stuff. You can, whatever you want, um, just like a regular web page. Um, the other thing you should know is that the, um, the news feed will repopulate every four hours. So that means that every four hours, the Digital Garrison app goes to the core API and grabs any new articles, like it refreshes, okay? Now, it, same goes for the events and things like that. It's, let's say, you know, um, the public affairs officer types in and puts a whole new article into core. And um, it's been, you know, a few minutes and they open the app and they don't see their, their news story. Well, first, you might have to wait four hours for it to show up. Um, second, um, it could be because you've already been viewing the news. So um, like when you're on your phone, the app will try to remember as much as possible about what you were doing. So that way it loads faster. So if I opened my news at, you know, 10 o'clock, um, it's showing all the news that it captured for 10 o'clock. So if you want to like refresh it, like get it to stop thinking that you want to view the same thing, just kill the app. Don't just X out of it. Kill the app and start over, you know, like, you know, log it back in and all that kind of stuff. And it should be there. Um, okay, let me see what other things. Um, as of right now, um, well, at least as of May, I did not know of any plans to um, display any news besides core, just divots or not, uh, you know, not divots, not local nothing else like that. So um, basically, if you have a core fee feed, um, that, that's the only one you can use. Um, and then, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, actually several people started a core news feed because of the app, because they wanted to have news on the app. Um, and if you have done that, if you had to like start a new core feed, that's another, like get your ID number, email Sarah so they can contact the IT team. Now, that's not as simple. It might take um, probably like, you know, a week for the IT team to put that new feed in and get it all published and all that kind of stuff. But um, again, it's not something that you can control. It's something that APHES has to do. Um, I think that, oh, um, another thing that's really cool. 
um, is this button right here. That means you can share that news story. So you can text it or email it to somebody um, right from the app. So um, I think that's it. Uh, again, it's all about the ID numbers, guys. Um, and then, um, let me see. Oh, uh, last thing I wanted to say. So if you don't have any news, which I believe within the last seven days, or it might be 30 days. So let's say, you know, I go to the feed and I see stuff, but you know, the last updated date isn't like for, you know, since last year, um, that the app thinks that you don't have any news. So when the app doesn't think you have news, whether it's because it doesn't have a core ID number, like you don't, you don't have a core feed, or you have old news in your um, uh, API that's not like it's not pulling it up because it's like, no, this is old. Like they don't want to display this. Um, the app will display the generic army news. I think it's, uh, hold on, I'll tell you right now. It is core ID number. Hold on, I'll get it. I feel like it's like one, but um, oh, I can't find it. Well, yeah, it's the basic generic army news. So if you open the app and you're not seeing your, your garrison news, you're seeing army news, that means either you have old stuff in your ID number or the app doesn't have like digital garrison, like AFES doesn't have your right core ID number. So, okay guys, I think I can tell I'm getting a little tired. I'm starting to get like, you know, stuttering. So next video though.